What's going on everybody? I'm coming at you with a different video and we're doing another episode of Cigar Lounge Series. We are here at Cigar Sanctuary in North Hollywood, one of our favorite uh, home locations that we like to smoke at. Yes. And uh, we're doing something a little different today, okay? Um, there is a cigar from Asylum called the April Fools, okay? Um, you wanna show- now, now, you'd think that this, when you light the cigar, it blows up in your face. That's normally what a, a joke cigar is. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this yeah. one has to do with the size. So yeah, this is the box. This okay? is the box. This is the box. This is the box of the cigar. That that's a box for just one sized cigar. Okay, you want to open that up and show it real quick. Dun dun. Oh brother! It looks like a donkey dick. <laughs> <laughs> you had to say that, but all right. <laughs> yeah, but we got uh, we got this. I got mine. Okay, Aaron got his, and then uh, I guess Jacob's gonna watch us. He's gonna smoke. Um, uh, something else, but uh, I guess we're gonna have to go to the front to cut these because apparently our regular cutter ain't gonna do it. Well, not that. I don't think we want to do a straight cut on this one. Right. Um, we probably want to do like a V cut or a punch, maybe. Yeah. And this, like, just so you know, this was like a fifty dollars cigar. Yeah. Just April one stick. Yeah. April Fool's right there. It, it might take what like four hours to smoke. Three or four hours. Three or, or four hours. We're obviously we're not gonna smoke the whole thing. Um, I'll, I'll do an hour and a half, maybe. Maybe an hour and a half. Maybe a couple hours, but. Apparently, like the strength level is like uh, it's a medium strength. If this was a full body cigar, I would say hell no. I'm not really somebody that likes full body cigars just yet. Apparently, I still got to you know build up my palate uh, to do that. But medium uh, to um, like medium full is kind of like where I like to to stay at. But yeah, it's a medium size. So because of that, I can justify it. And every review that I've read about it so far is actually pretty positive. So and it's ninety by nine for the size. Yeah, the biggest gauge I've ever seen. Yeah. So let's see how long, or let's see how far you can get smoking the cigar in an hour and a half. Yeah, let's definitely, uh, let's uh, cut this and see what it's all about and then uh, we'll light it up. Okay, so here's uh, a regular I'm, cutter. I'm, okay. I'm, so we gotta cut that up. <laughs> it's, it's kind of intimidating. Yes. <laughs> so I didn't want to do a straight cut on this thing. Cause that'd be a, a pretty big mouthful, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, look at look at the size of this thing. <laughs> so maybe I can do like just the tip. <laughs> <laughs> just the tip. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can. You think that's you. a good good right there? Maybe a little more. A bit wider. Uh, yeah. There. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, did it work? Oh, oh it worked. There it is. It oh. still is a, a pretty big hole. Yeah. Um, I don't think we can say anything without this sounding sexual <laughs> with the Ineo windows and stuff. But um, yeah, I know. No, is, 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 that, is, that, is that good? Yeah, I'll go a little smaller on yours if you're if, I if you can. Know. Okay. But um, yeah, I'll do that. Uh, all right. I think this is gonna be good. Perfect. Okay, that that's gonna work. This is gonna work. It's a little big, but it's a little big, but we got the job done. So now yeah. we can light this up. All right. And, uh, let me see how it smells. Yeah, man, that's, that's, that's something, dude. It's a biggie. <laughs> yeah, this is an unforgettable experience, and I'm definitely gonna keep the box as a souvenir, as uh, something to show for that we did this. Yeah. So, <laughs> so oh, you, you actually cut it with the- Yeah, we cut it with a straight cut. Yeah. Wow, it actually worked. But let's compare it. Yeah. Like a normal size cigar. <laughs> let's compare sizes. This is a Plasencia. This is a, this is a normal size. Actually, cigar. that's a pretty big cigar, even that. Right. It's a it's a little bit bigger than. But look at that. Cigars, but compared to the April Fools, like the April Fools makes the Plasencia look tiny. Yeah. And that is just a monster cigar. Yeah. That's uh, it's insane, man. I'm kind of like yeah. Let me, we're gonna we're gonna have to light this thing and. Uh, see what it's all about so let's uh let's do this man <clears throat> all right so uh let's light this up man oh man i'm scared <laughs> all right man i know <laughs> hold on i still gotta light hold on i still gotta light oh, you up We, we, we couldn't, it was kind of hard. It 
actually tastes pretty good, believe it or not. No, I've heard good things about it. I'm getting some some of it in my mouth, but right. I think I could, I think I could light you up just a little bit more. All right. Around the edges. Too. Yeah, like around. That's exactly what I was gonna do. There we go. There we go. Holy shit! Got a really good aroma. Yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, for fifty dollars, <laughs> I better get a good aroma. All right. Damn. I feel like I feel like a a king. <laughs> go get my servants, my peasants. <laughs> <laughs> wow! 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 That's that's just fascinating to look at, man. I want, I'm wondering what the other people in here think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. It smells good. It smells yeah. good. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, like Jacob said, you need two lighters. Yeah, for real. I mean, it smells good. Even, even as I'm lighting it, it smells pretty good. drink over there. So what do you think, David? It's actually pretty good. It's very, very good. I need a little more light. And this thing's heavy duty. <laughs> Uh, Hellraiser, Hellraiser uh, puzzle box here. Hellraiser, <laughs> man, this thing, this thing's heavy duty, man. David, I know, I know this isn't a political channel at all. <laughs> I'm not getting political at all. But I was in the restroom and I found these matches, this matchbook. Now this is from 2006, so a while ago. But it's a, it was a proposition in California, Proposition 86. And basically the proposition wanted to add 135% tax on cigars and also cigarettes. So, thank God this didn't didn't pass. Um, so no on Prop 86, 135 percent tax on cigar and pipe tobacco. Yep. So it did. It never passed. But can you imagine? Yeah. I mean, if it did, they're out of their fucking minds. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we ever talked about it on this channel about how, like, in Burbank, you can't buy any flavored tobacco anywhere. Yeah, it's so, like illegal. Yeah, but, it, but, you, but you can smoke weed. It's yeah, like you can smoke weed. And that's that's perfect. They won't say anything. But like, you can't smoke flavored oh, tobacco. Oh, Have a good oh, one, guys. Yeah. So um, this is a good crowd over here. By the way. Yeah, it's a good crowd. Um, so I just, I just wanted to show you guys. That. That's yeah. why we're in North Hollywood right now because yeah, we got, they have all the <laughs> specialty type cigars yeah. that you want, and you won't be able to find it in other places like Burbank. So nice. How's your smoke, by the way? I like it. I like this one. What'd you get? I got the Plasencia yeah. Alma Fuerte. Okay. It's good. That looks very appealing right now. This is good, but man, it's a, it's a mouthful, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's a yeah. mouthful. 
Yeah, it is. But it, it's actually burning pretty steadily, though. Like, it, it takes a minute. Yeah, it takes a minute for it to, like, even get down there, man. When this thing... Is it a lot of work? It's, like, the size of my arm. Yeah. It, it might have been better doing it as a beat cut or a hole punch, but it's still... It's, you know, you're still doing what you gotta do, but... Yeah. At least we can say we tried it. This is definitely one one for the books, for sure. I've always wanted to try it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, very appropriate for April Fools. <laughs> there you go. You got a nice draw there. Yeah. The only thing is, these little pieces are kind of getting in my mouth. You but... just gotta, like, uh, if you use a little bit of your saliva, you can kind of, like, tape it down. Yeah. You know, that's usually what you gotta do. thing I will say about this, in a weird way, I feel like a tribal chief. Yeah, right? Like a like, king. Like a, you feel like a boss. It's like a boss. It's like... Yeah. And the thing is, it's like, it's, it's one of those cigars where, I mean, I guess you could say that about any cigar, but for this cigar in particular, sometimes there's kind of like that need to where you just want to like, be like, you know, like, yeah, man, like I got a cigar, man, like, you know, like, like I'm up all in your face. This one's more like... Like, you feel like an Indian chief where you're just like, you don't gotta say anything, and you're just And quiet. they know your power. They see it, and that's it. No, it's like... Looks like you're smoking a baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> Batter's up. Right? <clears throat> you can even have, like, a lightsaber duel. Yeah. <laughs> so I think right now we're I think we're closing in on 30 minutes okay as you can see this is the ash and uh, yeah I mean the only thing that I could say that could be a little concerning is just that it, it might be a little hard to kind of even out the, the burn but here's the thing though um, when I first was smoking this cigar, I was kind of like, okay, you know, I, wouldn't, I really wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it, but I have to say, this is one of the best cigars I've ever had, and I'm, I'm not even done, and here's another thing. Initially, I thought, okay, maybe I'll just smoke the cigar for like an hour, an hour and a half, but after smoking it, you really start to think to yourself, you know what, maybe I could finish this whole thing. You it's know, almost I, like a mission. It is kind of like a mission, but, it, but it's like... Um, you, like once you're smoking it, you feel at ease. Like it's not a cigar that I'm thinking, oh, I gotta get done with it. It's like no, I'm, 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 I'm on this ride, and I'm gonna see where it takes me. Yeah. And it gets better as it goes down. Like <clears throat> the flavor, the t whatever blend it is, it hits you like with one thing in the beginning, and then it just gradually changes and it gets better. Now, David, after smoking this for about 20 minutes or whatever, have you figured out a better technique to? getting it, uh, a better draw yeah so a big concern of mine was like cutting it we thought we kind of fucked ourselves by using a, a straight cut but what I've discovered is like, if you're gonna smoke the cigar and you just cut it regularly and you're like ah oh, fuck I should have done a beat cut what you can do I call it it's a kiss and puff okay so it's like you just you like put it like right here Because, it, because what you're doing is by closing your lips and uh, puffing it, like drawing it in, you're getting like a more concentrated draw. Yeah. And it's just, it's very enjoyable, man. This is a very, very good cigar. I mean, I, I could see how people would mock it or make fun of it just by on the looks of the size of it. It's a fucking great cigar. And I gotta say, I might make this an annual thing where I yeah. smoke this once a year. It's, it's that good. It really yeah. is. So, uh, 
<laughs> I'm starting to get a curve on it, an upwards curve. Nice. Nice and crooked. And a crooked dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta say, you know, I first thought this would be a novelty, like just a, a gag item. You know, it's, <laughs> it's April Fool's, you know. It's actually pretty good, I gotta say. It's, the size is a little, off, a, it's a little off, uncomfortable a little bit, but yeah. for the most part, it's a pretty good slogan. It's enjoyable, man. Yeah. It, it, it hits all the notes that, that it needs to, you know what I mean? I mean, let me get a... <laughs> Pretty good. good, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. How's your smoke, Jacob? Uh, this is great. I love it. Nice. It's a dark, it's like a Maduro. And every draw is like, really good, too. Nice. Nice. But uh, I wonder how much, how far I can get this ash going. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe it's good that that other It's kind of like canoeing a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's called, canoeing. Yeah. yeah, it's canoeing. But I guess that might be good to kind of capture the, the ash. I don't know. But, it, but it's yeah. doing what it's supposed to do, man. Turn into a hockey stick. <laughs> yeah. Man. What a day. <laughs> so here's the thing about this cigar in particular. It really puts a lot of focus and emphasis for myself that I'm living my life. I'm doing what I want to do where I want to do, with who I want to do. Like honestly, like, life is pretty good right now. Life is pretty good and I'm very thankful for that. Get yourself an asylum, April Fools. All right, so I'm almost to the band actually. Oh wow, dude. You got fortunate because uh, you're still keeping the ash there. Look at that. That's mighty impressive, bro. But you know who has the best ash of all time? Who? Have you ever seen the movie The Shining? Yeah. Um, well, I forget her name, but she's smoking a cigarette in the movie. Yeah. And the ash is like almost to her finger. I'm telling you, it's like that big. <laughs> But uh, you know what the best part of this is, David? <laughs> what? <laughs> you got all this to go. <laughs> you got this much left. Yeah, we got that much left. Yeah, my ash actually fell off. You know, there we go. We're... <laughs> Comparing sizes. Comparing, yeah, right. I mean, I, I mean, getting this far down makes me feel pretty confident. You know, I'm like, oh, yeah, I could. I could. Uh, you know what? Like you said, I'm really enjoying this cigar. Like. You get past the size, and it's like, you know, it's it's actually very enjoyable. Yeah. It looks like when you're done smoking, it's going to curl around like a donut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, April Fool's, everyone. April Fool's. Okay, so we're definitely at least an hour into this. And I got to say, bro, I commend you. You got all that ash left, bro. Yeah. So we got another hour, probably, but... Yeah, I think so, man. I mean, this thing is like a Chipotle burrito. <laughs> That's how big this thing is. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it looks like you're holding a pipe, dude. Yeah. But again, it's pretty good, actually. It's good. It's, it's fucking good, man. You know? I can see why people would be put off by it, but um, once you get past the size... It's pretty great. It's pretty great, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, well, this is how it's looking. Your ash is legendary, bro. Look at that thing. Yeah, wow. Look at it compared that to this crazy. this cigar. <laughs> there they are. Amazing. Van Donkey Cock.
I might finish it, David. I, I think we have to, dude. I, I'm, I'm, I keep lowering the ribbon just to, because well, it's coming down. Well, we, we thought we were only going to do like an hour, or maybe like an hour and a half, but it's like, no, dude, let finish. It's not as harsh as I thought it would be. No, it's like, finish what you fucking started. Finish. I'm actually having fun with this thing. No, I'm having fun, and, and I, I'm enjoying it, and it's a great smoke. It's fun. We're getting a lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, that finally broke, but uh, check it out. That's I, how much I got it. Wow. It's like, I guess that's true what they say, all good things come to an end, huh? Yeah. But I just got to clean this up a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, you can probably light it up and have it, like, burn out evenly. That's how mine became. Yeah. You know? But, it, it, I mean, when you get that far down, it, it, it kind of encourages you just to finish it. You know, you don't... I'm on a mission now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to finish this thing... And then you can live to tell about it. Yeah. I'm going to finish it. I'm determined. You're determined. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm about done with this thing. <laughs> Boom. Boom. That's my uh, masterpiece. Look at that. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> The last hit. There they are. There he is. It is finished. Oh. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's a wrap. That was a fantastic smoke. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. Again, I reiterate, you know, I was a little hesitant because it's like 50 bucks. Um, and you just never know if a cigar is going to be good at that price. But it was great. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's the gummies I had earlier or if it was the cigar, but I'm, I'm pretty, uh, I don't want to say ripped, but I, I have a good buzz right now. Yeah, I'm pretty buzzed, ultra relaxed. Might have to take a nap. Yeah. Definitely got to take a shower because... We can't smell like smoke where we're going next. But um, yeah, guys, that, that's a wrap at a wonderful time. Shout out to Cigar Sanctuary for holding this thing. This yeah. is a very rare cigar to come by. I feel like I, I'm accomplished. Like I, I accomplished something today. Yeah, we definitely did what we set out to do. And I can definitely see this becoming like an annual thing. Yeah, I'll do it next April. Yeah, we'll do it next April. Uh, but that's it, guys. That's a wrap. If you guys like this video, be sure to like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, feel free to share. Again, thanks for watching. And as always, we will see you on the next one. Yep. Oh. April Fools. April Fools.